Hi and welcome back to Infinity Coders channel. Today, we have something truly fascinating in store for you. In this video, we'll be diving into the world of Java, one of the most popular programming languages out there. Get ready to embark on an exciting journey as we explore the origins, the compiler explanation, and the modern day usage of Java. We have many questions when we want to start learning Java. Following are some famous questions everyone like to know. 1. What is Java? 2. How Java begin? 3. How Java works? 4. Where Java being used? Let's get started to look into how Java begin. Before we jump right into it, let's start with the basics. Java, developed by James Gosling and his team, emerged in the mid-1990s. Originally created for consumer electronics, it soon found its place in the world of software development due to its platform independence and versatility. Write once, run anywhere, whirra. This phrase captures the essence of Java's platform independence. It means that Java programs, once compiled, can be executed on any device or platform that has a compatible Java virtual machine, JVM, without needing recompilation. This portability is achieved by the GV, which provides a layer of abstraction between the Java code and the underlying operating system and hardware. Next, let's look into depth how Java compiler works. Compiling Java code involves several steps that take the code from a developer's source files to executable machine code. Here are the general steps involved in the Java compilation process. A developer writes Java code using a text editor or an integrated development environment ID, such as Eclipse or IntelliJ IDEA. The code is saved with AI Java extension. The Java code is compiled using the Java compiler Javac. The compiler reads the eJava source files and translates them into bytecode, which is a platform independent representation of the code. The bytecode is saved in class files. The Java Virtual Machine Jab verifies the bytecode to ensure its safety and integrity. It checks for any violations of Java's security rules and performs various checks to prevent malicious code from executing. The GVM executes the compiled Java program. It loads the bytecode into memory and interprets or executes the instructions. The GM manages memory, performs garbage collection, and provides various runtime services to the Java program. It's important to note that the GVE is responsible for executing Java programs on different platforms, examples showing here Windows OS, UnX OS, Android OS, and MacOS. This allows Java programs to be highly portable, as the GVARM abstracts away the underlying hardware and operating system differences. Each time the Java program is executed, the steps from compilation to execution are followed, ensuring that the code is converted into machine instructions that the computer can understand and execute. Moving on, let's look into how Java is used in current days. Now let's talk about the modern day usage of Java. Java has become the backbone of numerous applications and systems we use every day, from web development to mobile apps and even large. Scale enterprise software, Java has proven its reliability and scalability time and time again. Automation testing. Java is widely used for writing automation tests, thanks to its rich ecosystem of testing frameworks and libraries. One popular example is Selenium, a framework for automating web browsers. Selenium WebDriver, a Java-based API, allows testers to write scripts that simulate user interactions with web applications with web applications facilitating automated testing. Android development. Java has long been the primary language for Android app development. It provides a robust set of APIs and tools through the Android SDK, enabling developers to build feature, rich and scalable mobile application. Android Studio, the official integrated development environment, ID, supports Java for Android app development. Big data. Java is frequently employed in the field of big data processing and analytics. Apache Hadoop, a popular framework for distributed processing of large datasets, utilizes Java extensively. Java-based libraries like Cassandra and Miskel are also prevalent for real-time stream processing and batch processing of big data. Frameworks Java boasts a plethora of frameworks that aid in developing scalable and maintainable applications. One notable example is Spring Framework, which provides a comprehensive set of features for building enterprise-level Java application. 
Spring Boot, a part of the Spring ecosystem, simplifies the development of standalone, production, ready applications. Web Development Java is utilized in web development for building robust and scalable server-side applications. In addition to its widespread use, Java's strong community support is another reason for its continued success. Online forums, open source projects, and developer communities provide a wealth of knowledge and assistance to both beginners and seasoned Java developers. So there you have it, an introduction to Java from its humble beginnings to its essential role in today's modern world. We hope this video has sparked your curiosity and inspired you to explore the limitless possibilities that Java has to offer. Let's recap the key points. What is Java? How Java began. Java is a high-level object-oriented programming language that was designed to be simple, secure, and portable. It was developed by James Gosling and his team at Sun Microsystems, now owned by Oracle Corporation. Java is known for its right wants. Run anywhere principle, meaning that Java programs can run on any device or operating system that has a Java virtual machine, JVM installed. How Java works. Java programs are first written in plain text using a text editor or an integrated development environment, ID. The Java source code is then compiled by the Java source code is then compiled by the Java compiler Javac into Bytoad, which is a platform independent representation of the code. This bytode is executed by the GVM, which translates it into machine code specific to the underlying hardware and operating system, where Java is used. Java has a wide range of applications and is used in various domains, including desktop applications, web development, mobile app development, automation testing, and big data processing. These factors have made Java a popular choice for a wide range of software development needs. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey into the world of Java. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting coding content. Please do check out for different coding content in our channel. And as always, happy coding!